It is a very popular event that has sold out, by the way, the last three years. The Garden Grapes and Hops event helps promote many local restaurants and wineries we have in our state. And here is, uh, to tell us more about this event is Will Jones from the Denver Botanic Gardens. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here this morning. I haven't seen you in a while. So I know you, you don't great. come to the gardens anymore. You're too busy. This is one event that we should go to because this is growing in popularity every year. Why is that? This is only the third year, right? Yes, yeah, the third year. And I think one of the main reasons people love it so much is because we're right in the middle of downtown. And the way we organize it is we think of it like this. You know, after a week's of hard Hard work, a week of hard work. Sure. It's really good to come downtown. You got 20 of your best restaurants, you got 20 of the best breweries and wineries in the city, and you're in one of the most beautiful gardens in the country. And we have 2,000 people coming in, drinking and enjoying themselves, eating, sampling. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. We we're, have live music. We're focusing local, 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 though, right? Restaurants, and a lot of people probably don't realize we have a lot of great wineries here. Too. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Barefoot Wine and Bubbly is going to be there. Zoning USA is going to be there. The breweries that we have, um, Gold. Golden Brewing Company, Avery Brewing Company, Colorado Cider Company, Crazy Mountain a lot Brewing. Of, yeah, yeah tons the list and goes tons on and on. Okay, mm -hmm. so even if you don't drink, I'm sure you eat, mm -hmm. right? There are a lot of great foods there. And uh, what's, what's new at the Botanic Gardens? What's blooming right now? That'll be visual to see. Well, all the plants are blooming. It's really, mm -hmm. really beautiful. This is the perfect time of the year to visit the gardens. We also have a Japanese bamboo exhibit called Kazuna that's, that's right. really, really yeah. popular right now. But a lot of people are coming to the gardens because of the, the or for Friday anyway, they're coming for the great food and for the yeah. great music and for the great beer and wine. And the ambiance and all the people there, the energy. Are there still tickets available? It sells out. So. Yeah, we still have some tickets available. Um, the VIP tickets are really, really, really hot this year. One of the things that we've done is we've transferred our giant ballroom into a speakeasy. And we're having a pre-party from 5 to 6.30 and an after party from 9.30 to 11. And the speakeasy has a jazz band. It has um, a giant tower of candy. We have bartenders and <laughs> wine in there. So, so it's a good, great place to get your party started okay. and to wind down before you go so home. So people can be on a sugar high for the rest of the evening. All right, thanks, Will. <laughs> Appreciate it. The Garden Grapes and Hops event is Friday, June 8th. Mark your calendars at the Denver Botanic Gardens from 6.30 to 9.30. There's also an after party and as Will just mentioned, before party two. General admission is $60. Members, $55. There's also a designated driver ticket for $30 that you can go and attend. For all the information you need on this, go to our website, thedenverchannel.com, and click on that big red TV button. Nice to see you.